I have loved every minute of this. Um, and it's, it's great to be here uh, in this school and in the county. So uh, to bring congratulations to you, not only for me, but on uh, behalf of the Department of Ed and our State Board of Ed. Uh, and to celebrate, this is a good time to celebrate all of the students um, in this school district. You know, I told folks when we started this last year, um, somebody said, you know, wouldn't it just be easier to write a letter and send a letter of congratulations? And I said, yeah, it would be easier, but I really wanted to be here face to face and deliver a message personally uh, to students, community, teachers, and administrators, because I just feel um, this kind of excitement and this kind of celebration uh, deserves something uh, very, very special. You know, to put this in perspective for those of you that may not know, there's 144 districts um, in the state of Mississippi, and only 15 earn an A. So that lets you know the level of distinction uh, that goes with this. And I can tell you, the students would probably be the first ones to agree that earning an A is not easy. Uh, and we have had right now the most rigorous standards that we've ever had in the state. You've taken the most rigorous exams you've ever taken in the state. So to earn an A from the entire district is really quite an honor. You know, I think that it talks a lot about you know, your perseverance, your hard work, your resilience, uh, and I think that that is something to really be recognized. Students, a word to you first. I want you to know, as your state superintendent, how incredibly proud I am of you. Because I know what it took to get here. I know the hard work, I know the endurance, and I'm a firm believer in setting high expectations. I raised two daughters and I said the same thing to them that I'm going to say to you today. Aim high and you'll achieve high. Aim low and you'll receive low achievement. So I encourage you to keep pushing yourself, keep challenging yourself, set those expectations and goals, and always set what I call a stretch your goal. The goal is going to make you work just that much harder in order to get something that you would like to achieve. You know, the one thing I also want to tell you, and it's been obvious in each district, and I know it's true here, every adult in every building that you're in is there to support you, and is there to encourage you, and is there to challenge you. There's not a person in this gym right now and other people around this district that do not believe that you can achieve whatever you set your minds to achieve. So from my heart, from the State Board of Ed's heart, from the Department of Ed's heart, congratulations students and have a round of applause for our students. principal in this district, would you please stand? Because my next message goes to you. Having been a teacher, I believe once a teacher, always a teacher, having been a principal, I want you to know that I believe in my heart of hearts that you have the most important job in the entire world. And I believe that. Our, I view our work as not a job, but a call. And I believe in God's hands in our work each and every day. As you enter a classroom, as you work with children, even those that are struggling, those that are excelling, this grade lets me know that in Newton County, every single child is important. Every single child. I will say this all the time. All means all. Not some, not those, but all. I know your early mornings, I know your late nights, I know your weekends, but you do it in dedication to the children that you see come through that door each and every day. So I want to say from, once again, from me personally, as an educator, from your state superintendent, I want to say thank you so much for what you do for these boys and girls every day. You are building our future as a state. You are building our future as a nation. Because one day, some of these children are going to be standing where you are, carrying on your legacy, giving back to the next generation. So thank you very much for what you do. Let's give our teachers a thank you.
recognize one teacher um, from Newton County. I wish she's um, here today. Is Kim on the Yes, no? All right. So let me recognize her because she is your representative uh, on my Teachers Advisory Council. And I started this last year uh, with about 50 teachers, and I love it so much because I value a teacher's voice so much that I, and I need to come right here up here, and I said I want to expand this. So this year, I have about 170 teachers that I meet with around the state. And uh, they bring issues to me, I bring issues to them, and uh, we've got a great exchange. And I cannot tell you how much I value having these teachers go above and beyond. So when you get back to Newton County Elementary, would someone please let her know that I gave her a shout out? She is here. Stand up there. Where is she? There she is. Thank you so much. being a part of my council, I appreciate that. Um, it's because of districts like Newton that Mississippi is getting better and better every year. You know, and I think there's times that we don't take enough pride in the accomplishments that we've made. Sometimes Mississippi gets dinged, but let me tell you something. As your state superintendent, I am out on a regular basis bragging about what's going on in Mississippi. And people say to me, how are, how are Mississippi getting the accomplishments that they are? What's happening with teachers in the classroom? And I'll say, you know what? We've got amazing students who accept our challenges. We've got terrific teachers who come in and are dedicated to this work. And we've got principals that lead. And leadership matters. It matters at the top of the school building. It matters in the classroom, because I believe teachers lead each and every day in their classroom. And it also starts at the top of the superintendent. But I think it's important that we keep this momentum up because I think our gains are because of your commitment. I don't take credit for anything, nor should I. I get the joy of bragging on what you've done, but I don't take the credit for what you've done. You're the ones that do it each and every day. Your intense focus on literacy, your focus on children, and your insurance that your children are going to succeed. You know, the beauty of where we are in Mississippi right now, and these are the talking points I hope that you share with family and friends over the holidays, every single indicator that Mississippi is monitoring right now is heading in the right direction. We've got the highest graduation rate we've ever had at 82.3. Our ACT scores have gone up every single year. English language arts and math proficiency up every single year. We are outpacing the nation with our growth on the national assessments. Our kindergarten teachers are knocking it out of the park with kindergartners each and every year. There's a lot to be proud of where public education is concerned in the state of Mississippi. And I hope that you take those messages and spread that good news around because that's, that's the joy that I have of being your state superintendent. And I've got a gift that I want to give to um, Mr. Amos, so if you want to come up and maybe someone needs to help you as well. So, once again, from the State Department of Education, the State Board of Education, congratulations to Newton County Schools for their A rating. How about a round of applause? because you are blessed to have a very talented superintendent. Um, he attends our meetings, he contributes to our conversation, he's a good thought partner and a good friend and a great colleague. And when I say leadership matters, leadership does matter. And you can be very proud of the superintendent that you have. How about a round of applause for our superintendent?
I know there's nothing that I've done as all the kids, the students, the teachers. You know, it takes bus drives, cafeteria labels, ladies and maintenance, transportation. It takes everybody, assistant teachers. We couldn't have done this without our family. You know, the whole community family pulling together. You know, I, I just want to thank everybody for their part. You know, we have volunteers that uh, help tutor after hours. They don't have to do that. But we do appreciate everything that everybody does, you know. Uh, and I suppose, you know, I was raised in a great family. I have a great mom and dad. I told you about it. You know, I, I don't know how it is not to uh, have opportunity. And uh, I'm blessed with that. I'm blessed with a great family. But it is all hard as being teachers and educators give these students and kids the opportunities that they might not have. So I just want to thank everybody in here for doing their part to make this happen. You know, I always say my heart bleeds blue and orange, and it is truly a great day to be a good one. Thank you. All. At this time, we have a little more information that we would like to share today. It's my honor to interview one of the great supporters of Newton County. Um, he works tirelessly and helps us. I, every time I call this man, he always answers my phone calls. And uh, he, he really cherishes Newton County, and that, and that is our Senator, Terry C. Ferguson. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to your school. Glad to have you here. And I want to tell you something. I'm very, very proud of this Henry Newton grade that you have now. It just proves what I've been telling folks all over the state that I have the opportunity to have the best kids, the best parents, the best teachers, the best staff, the best superintendents, the best principals right here in Newton County. And y'all doing a great job. And I've uh, just got to say it before it's announced. I'm going to say it while I'm thinking about it. Go Cougars! <laughs> We also have some great support out there in our community, our business leaders. And one of those leaders is here today, and I wanted to, to invite him here and his dear wife to share this moment. Because we could have done this other thing that I'm about to do now anytime. But I thought it was appropriate to do it on this day when you can count against this grade officially from the superintendent's office in Jackson. And Dr. Wright, it's a pleasure to work with you. It is a pleasure. You're doing a great job. You and me, the rest of the staff, wonderful folks. We just enjoy working with you. But Harley Beebe has been a good corporate citizen in Mississippi for many, many years. He's been my friend for a long time. And you know, there's a little piece of property right next door to the building on it, right next door to the school district. And Harley and I, unfortunately, had to shut it down here several years ago. I approached them, some others approached them, talked to them about maybe the school buying that property. Well, just don't let it go, Terry. You stay on it. And so I did. So we've been talking about this, he and Terry and I, for a while now. And today, it gives me great honor to announce that Harvey and Mary are donating the building and the acreage PD plant right next door to the Newton County School District. Mississippi has some association with Peavy, a family member, a friend, a neighbor, somebody has worked with Peavy or works with Peavy now. They've had 15,000 people employed in their facilities over 50 years plus. So hardly if you have been a good corporate citizen, the state of Mississippi thanks you, you the county thanks you, and I personally thank you for your dedication and your willingness to donate this piece of property value at over three billion dollars. To the New York School District. Harley, would you come to work with me?
Hardly is the man of the hour. And I'm going to let, let him use this microphone and uh, tell you exactly what he wants to say. He's not one to shy away from saying what's on the time. So I'm just going to share, share it with you and let you know that we appreciate Parker, we appreciate Mary, we appreciate um, the willingness of them to donate this piece of property to the school system. They will use it well, and the PD man will be probably displayed on that building. I will share you that on Thank you.
my Senate district, this House district, that we don't talk about, and that's a regular basis. And I appreciate the working relationship we have, and thank you for all your efforts. Since I kind of negotiated this deal, Harvey's asked me to present this to Jay Oinkus. This is the key to the PV Annex. From PV to the Deepton County School District, donated to the Deepton County School